Hello, welcome back again to the Mathematica channel. On this video, we're going to discuss how to compute this double integral. So, this time, this double integral is solved by black pen, red pen. Using three methods. The first one is by using double integral or iterated integral with the order of integration is dy dx and then the second one with the order of integration dx dy and the third method is by using the polar integral okay uh, from the three given methods black pen red pen solve three solve uh, two solve using two methods completely which is by using the order of integration dx, dx dy and by using the polar coordinate so in this video we're gonna solve by using this order of integration so black pen red pen didn't finish the problem completely because at the end uh, we need to compute some kind of ugly integral and the reason why I'm gonna solve this one because there is actually some merit in computing that ugly integral which is uh, applying the substitution method so practicing the substitution method of computing integral okay so let's compute this so first of all when we compute integral with respect to the y notice that this y squared and that x cubed is considered as a constant so this x cubed and x y squared are even function so remember that if we have even function then this becomes twice from 0 to a f dx okay so let me repeat again since x cubed plus x y squared is even with respect to y okay with respect to y they are even, hence this integral can be rewrite as twice from 0 to 3, 0 to square root of 9 minus x squared, x cubed plus xy squared dy dx. Okay, so that's the first step to a little bit simplifying the integral. Let us compute the integral with respect to y, so integral of x cubed is x cubed y x cubed y and then the integral of y squared is one third of y cubed so one third of x y cubed and then we evaluate it at square root of 9 minus x squared 0 x so we end up with this kind of integral from 0 to 3 x cubed 9 minus x squared to the power of 1 half okay and then plug in this to the y cube become 1 third x 9 minus x squared 3 half dx so this is the integral that black pen that pen didn't finish it completely and left to us as the viewer to try to compute this Okay, so first of all, notice that this part of the integral is easily solved by picking the u substitution 9 minus x squared. How do we know that we can solve this? Because when we take the, refer the differential of u, we have minus 2x dx, which basically saying that we can replace the x the x here we have x the x we can replace the x the x in terms of the u and also we can replace this whole thing in terms of u so this is basically just integral of something like u to the power of 3 half okay so this one can be solved easily how about this problem okay so for the other one 
We also try to use the same substitution, but we have some problem here because this we have this x cube. So in order to take care of this x cube, we would like to express this x cube in terms of 9 minus x squared. So we can write this x cubed as minus x times 9 minus x squared. So the reason why I do this, so first of all, we have something like this. In order to have x cubed expression, we just need to multiply with negative x, right? But now we have minus 9x extra. So we just need to add 9x back, so then we have this identity. Okay? So therefore, this x cubed 9 minus x squared to the 1 half, which is basically we multiply this x cubed by 9 minus x squared to the power of 1 half, to become minus x, 9 minus x squared to the power of 3 half plus 9x, 9 minus x squared to the power of 1 half, okay? And the way we solve this and that is exactly similar to the one that we did here, okay? Or actually, we can try to simplify this plus that one first, okay? So this integral is equal to integral from, let me write with using smaller font so we can fit in all the rest of the computation on this board. So from 0 to 3. So we have this one. We're going to replace this x cubed square root of 9 minus x squared by all of this, right? So then we have this, which is kind of similar to this one. So we can simplify this one third x minus x become minus two third x nine minus x squared. Okay, and then we add this. Yes. Now we are ready to use the u substitution. U equals nine minus x squared. So the u is minus 2x dx, or this x dx can be replaced by minus half the u. And then we need also to change the limit of integration. When x equal to 0, x equal to 0, then the u is 9. And then when x is equal to 3, the u is equal to 0. Okay, so this integral is equal to integral from x equal 0 is correspond with x equal 0 correspond with u equals 9. So 9, 0. And then we replace the x, the x. So I'm sorry. We forgot to rewrite the 2 here, so we have still 2 over there, okay? So, 2, and then we replace x dx by minus half du, okay? Minus half du. And then, we still have this negative 2 third, and this is u, u to the power of 3 half, and then, is 9 u to the power of 1 half. So that's it. So this is the integral. Okay, so let's uh, switch back the order of, I mean, the limit of integration. So we're going to remove this negative sign and then put back from 0 to 9. And then 2 times 1 half is 1, so we don't need that one. Okay, so that's equal to that. Okay, so integral of u to the power of 3 half is, so this is going to be u to the power of 5 over 2, and then minus 10 over 6, which is minus 5 over 3. Let me, did I make a mistake? So, 
So basically what we want is to treat u pi over 2, right? Then plus u to the power of 3 half, and then 2 thirds times 9, which is 6. So we can simplify this as negative 4 over 15. And then we evaluate at 9 and then at 0. So at 9, 9 to the power of 1 half is 3, so that should be 3 to the power of 5. Okay. 4, 3 to the power of 5. Let's write this as 5 times 3. Then we have 6, 2 times 3. And then 9 to the power of 1 half is 3. So this is times 3 cubed. Okay. So if we simplify this, that cancel this one into 3 to the 4th power. Okay. That's 3 to the 4th power. Then we have 3 to the 4th power. 2 minus... Okay, so which is uh, this 10 fifth, 6 fifth, 6 times 3 to the power of 4 divided by 5. I think this is 81 times 6, 486. So this is equal to 486 over 5. And you can compare that this result is exactly the same as the result using either the polar coordinate or using the order of integration dx dy. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget also to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you again on the next video. Bye bye.